Welcome back guys to yet another World of Warcraft video on this channel. Today we are going to be going into the weekly gold making activities. What we've been doing for the last week, that kind of thing. That's what this video is. We've done a couple of these videos multiple times now uh, for the last couple of weeks. But this is yet another one. Now, before we get into it, make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel with all the notification on. And you also drop a like on the video and, you know, drop a funny comment, whatever you think is fun. And I also want to thank every single one of the patrons. By the time that I'm recording this video, we are up to 40 over there. And as you can see, it's all the names that are showing up on the screen. It's uh, it's it's quite a lot. Uh, it seems that you guys are definitely enjoying, a majority of you are enjoying the second tier, where you can get access to my TSM groups, my sniper list, uh, you can also get access to a document that I have of daily gold making activities for an alt army. And there's a bunch of stuff basically. And yeah, it's it's all great. Go check it out. You should definitely do it. But let's get into this video. So obviously, you guys can already see what's right here in front of me. Uh, you can see the last week here, uh, spanning back to September uh, 16th, which is the last Friday. And as I'm recording it here on the 24th, uh, 20 the 23rd i mean it's showing the 24th but as you can see it's only uh it's because it's the european service so it's actually 4 a.m there uh, just so you guys know it's from friday to friday so as you can see in front of us here we have spent 4.6 million and we have earned f almost 4.8 so obviously the profit is only 118k there is not a lot of profit here and i am here to tell you why I have been investing a lot of gold as I also was last week into investments that I'm not touching or things that are going to take a long time to sell. And to basically go into these numbers after you guys have seen this, we are going to start at expenses. We're going to click last seven days and it's going to miss some of them because it's not going to show it's a little different. But the majority of what is important is going to show you here. I'm going to, Well, I'm going to show you here. We got a uh, TBU Scorching Straight Sword. We got this one for 112k. Uh, this isn't like outrageously cheap, but it's uh, pretty certain that I could sell this one for 150 to 200k on Terran Mills. So I thought this was a pretty good deal. We also got a, uh, another Dune Scavenger, as you can see here, for 90k, which is very great. We also got a uh, Singing Singing Crystal Axe for 50k. These guys are a 102k on the market value uh, for. The regional sale average, I mean, not the market value. The market value is 167k, but that's for this realm. So I should easily be able to double my gold on this one. And I also got another one, as you guys can see, for uh, 100k. So this greatly brings that down. Now you can see today, actually, I got a Nightblade for 40k. Now, 40k isn't necessarily a super good deal for the Nightblade, but this is an item that I've been wanting for a long time for myself. But I'm only going to use it for myself if this flip does not work out. I actually expect to be able to double my gold here and be able to sell it for like 80 or, uh, 80 or 90k. Because we've been able to do that before. Now, we also bought a Battered Hilt for 30k. And uh, it's kind of pricey, but I actually wanted to bring uh, the price of them up. So that's why I did that. And you can see they're at 45k currently in the minimum bio. Now, we did also buy 10 Plundered Blade on Northern Kings, which brought our average buy up to 27,283. Now, the reason that I decided to actually buy these was because, as you can see, we've been able to sell 11 for 481,000. And you can see that we've been able to sell them for an average of 43,786,000 gold, or 786 gold, which is very good. Now, the price has already fallen a little bit since I actually bought these up, but even, like, even a couple thousand profit is still great. These are great sellers. I also don't mind if it doesn't work out just keeping, uh, keeping on buying these because I know eventually they'll sell for a profit. Because uh, these are great swords. Uh, they might just be in a rut right now because a lot of people are actually farming this. But that's why I decided to buy this. It's a great item. Uh, we also bought four more additional Burdened Souls. These guys are a little annoying to get here in Shadowlands. And uh, my plan is actually to hold on to these. If I can't flip them for almost double my buy price. My plan is to hold on to these 
until we actually get into dragon fight when people don't do shadow lands content anymore so that's why i decided those to, to get those we also got two separate dragon riders harnesses uh we got one for 22k and we also got one for 18.75 uh so these are also semi cheap we've been able to sell these for uh 20 25 000 and over and also a little under so these are a little bit more of a risk but i also am fine if i am to hold on to this if there's not any great profit that we're looking at now we did also get a couple janus lockets here and the price is already down again but we have been able to profit quite greatly on these and even with buying these two uh we are still in profits so that is great. Uh, we also bought some of these cosmetic uh, cloak pieces to hold on to, uh, to hold on to until Dragonflight. That is one of those things that I believe will probably go up in value, which is, again, something I'm not selling right this very second. Now we also have these Wither Scorn Reapers, Drust Route Scythe Wither Scorn Reapers. All of these, uh, I'll actually show you guys what these are. Is uh, that they're re <laughs> again they're Reapers. They kind of look like this, and basically what these guys are is that they're different colors, different variations, and they are pretty annoying to get, but I am pretty sure that this is going to be one of those transmogs that are going to go up in value in Dragonflight, and if they're only going to be between five to, to 15,000 gold now, I am more than okay with buying these up uh, and, and taking the risk on these items. And there's actually another one here for 10,000 gold and I'm actually going to take that one just uh you know as an as an extra thing uh do we no I don't think we got any any others but that's okay and uh yeah that's kind of like it we also got the uh wither scorn uh what do you call it what are they called guys now these ones are also transmog they are these drought looking or drust looking transmogs. These are really good. I've actually been able to flip these before. Uh, I don't have the data for it here because it's a different PC. Uh, but these are very, very cool pieces uh, of transmog. And I'm absolutely certain that these are going to go up in value because they are also really annoying to get. Now, besides that, it's a uh, smaller investments, a lot of smaller investments. So it's not anything huge. It's actually also a bunch of materials that we've been flipping. And on that note, we can go over to look a little bit into our revenue. Now, over here on our revenue, uh, you guys can see that we were able to sell these Fell Flame Inferno shoulder pads. Now, these we actually bought for 125k. And we made a trade for them. So we got actually 75,000 gold profit on these, which I'm really happy about. And then you can also see that we actually sadly sold one of these for 90k because people were lowering the, the amount of gold that these were posted for. They were 100k again, but we actually snuck in to 123,000 gold uh, Jeweled Onyx Panthers which is very, very great. This is a great amount of profit. Now, we were also able to sell uh, this week three depleted Kyperion rockets, and this is super great. Uh, two of them went for 74,000, which is not that much profit. It's probably only in the ballpark of like seven to 10,000 gold, but we also sold one for 85,000, which is obviously uh, double that, which is awesome. We were able to sell this Spirit Bow Chest Guard. I know that we bought this one for 5,000 5, gold, uh, but not, you can't see it on this PC, but that is a great sale. It took forever to sell, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, now, obviously, we talked about the uh, Strange Goops, and these we actually bought last week, so that is one of those things. We were able to sell one of them for 74k, which I'm very happy about. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to sell them on, on, unless they're a really good price already. And uh, we also sold a Flawless Amethyst Bobble Worm, 66k. It's kind of bad considering the fact that they take 10,000 Polish Petrimes. Um, but obviously, because I have so many, I thought, hey, why not? But I'm ho holding on to the other seven that I currently have. Now, we were all also able to sell a good amount of crafter stuff. You can see a Fell Steel Long Blade here went for 47k. Uh, sadly, the price was taken down to 30k, so now they're selling for 28k. 
but we were able to sell another one. And we also sold a soul for Unhap Hammer, 33k. Uh, and the Fell's too long blade here for 27k. There's still there's still good profits, probably still like 10k, 12k, something along those lines. The soul for Unhammer Hammer is probably like 8, 9k. Uh, we could probably get it cheaper than that. But either way, we also sold a battered hilt. And as you can see, we actually purchased one two days and eight hours ago. And we were able to sell one two days and six uh, six hours ago. So basically what that means is we could just count that, the one that we bought for however much it was that we talked about before. We sold it for 42k. So that was very great. We also sold this one, the Titan Steel Shanker. This price has been heavily dropped down. You can see it's 9k now. We were able to sell it for 27,000, which is like a... 22k profit a lot a lot a lot of profit and then we were able to sell a ton of panthers as as always the price is actually recovered quite nice uh, quite nicely on these so i'm really happy about that uh we've also been starting up on some of my other accounts we've actually been starting up some uh rare camp situations and one of the ones was on a warlock we actually farmed the sealed tome of the lost legion and we were able to sell one of these for as you can see 23 Point seven thousand. So I was very happy about that. And then also we were able to sell this halberd of Agthea. Uh, I actually have like fourteen of these, I think, in the bank. And I, I've I bought all of them for between like five hundred to three thousand gold. And as you can see, we've actually been able to sell this one for twenty one thousand. And uh, the uh, we also sold another one for four thousand seven hundred, which isn't that great, but it's still profit. But the important thing to realize here is that I've pretty much just with this one sale made all the other ones free. So in the future when we actually sell more of these, it's going to be great profit. Now we also sold the Spirit Bow Mantle, Spirit Bow Mantle, and we bought that one for 3,000 gold as you guys can see. And it took about 36 days to sell for 15,000. I'm pretty happy with that. It's a good amount of profit, like 12k so. And then there's some other, uh, this is a crafted piece, this is also a crafted piece, crafted piece. And then we sold this one for 9.5k, which is terrible price. It's only like 2k profit on the lower end of some of these. We're actually holding on to the majority of these that we've been buying up. Um, and then obviously we were able to flip some Vespoid lattices. You can see that we've been buying them up for 4,166 gold average. And we sold these one, these ones for 9.4. So obviously a very, very good flip. And these are all like smaller things that aren't as important. But there's uh, some crafter stuff in here. Uh, some 190s and, and we get to the materials. Now this is one of the huge ones that I want to talk to you guys about. If we look at these enchanted elementium bars. I have been able to sell 398 of these uh, enchanted elementium bars. And it's super, super great, because you guys can see it ranges from 16 to 1800. Now, obviously, uh, it's a little hard to say what the average, I'd probably say uh, that the average sell price on these, considering there's so many at 16, 15, uh, it's probably like close to 1700, but they're a couple hundred gold profit. So I'm really happy about these. They're very easy to craft, very easy to sell. So, this is one of those things we've probably, I don't know necessarily how much we've profited on this, but if it's a couple hundred gold profit, it's in the ballpark of like 40k to 100k profit on these, I'd say. Something along those lines. So I'm pretty happy with this. It's one of the, one of the bigger material things. And uh, we've also uh, been able to sell a lot of Primal Mites. As you can see, we've been able to sell 421 of these. Uh, we actually craft these. We've been able to craft every single one of these for just under 800 gold. So the profit on these is uh, also, again, a couple hundred gold. So not on these lower ones, but there wasn't that many of these. But this is still really, really awesome to see. Uh, it's one of those great mater material shuffle flips. And I've been really happy about that. About that. We also have some uh, Blood of the Mountain here. These are only like 30 to 40 gold profit. This is when we get into like the smaller value profits, uh, which isn't necessarily as important. But that's, uh, that's the majority of what I want to say. I hope this gives an insight into what I sell. If you guys aren't following uh, all the weekdays over on the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Sansible. Uh, and if you like these videos, make sure you let me know down in the comments below. And also, this we uh, this video, I want you guys 
to type in the comments. Um, what are we gonna say? What are we gonna say? We're gonna we're gonna say squid. We're gonna say squid. Cause this is squid. It's happy squid. Yes. Yeah. Until the next one. See you guys.